Hello everyone, I'm Grace McHugh, also known as Grace.Equine on Instagram with two E's. Today I'm reviewing the app Equestion as part of being a brand ambassador for Digital Horse. The app Equestion is designed to help improve horse care and riding knowledge for all ages and abilities, so no matter who you are, there'll be something there for you. Whilst the app can be fantastic for learning a new skill or learning how to do something safely, the questions are heavily based around common equine examinations. Those examinations being BHS Stage 1 and 2, Ride Safe and MVQ 1 and 2, Horse Care in the UK. The app covers such a variety of topics, so whether you need to learn how to bring your horse in from the field safely or how to do up tack, it will be covered in the app. How the app works is that you'll be asked a variety of questions. If there being such a variety of topics within the app, there are multiple choice questions for each. If you get an answer wrong, this will be highlighted and you'll know your mistakes and where you can improve. The app is split into two different sections. You have level one, which is free, and level two, which goes really in depth. However, level one still covers all of the basics you need to know in the equine world. Today, I'm going to be reviewing two topics from level two. Those topics being riding safely on the road and topic number two, tack and horse clothing, fitting and maintaining. Hello everyone. So as you can see, we've gone into screen recording mode. I have got the question app in the left hand corner on my screen and I'm going to take you through the different sections give you a little tour of the app so you can get an insight as to what it's like and obviously I'm going to go through my specific topics so let's open the app up as you can see we've got level one at the top level two below when you do purchase the app for the first time and you go on to level one it will say buy but if you just as in purchase um, if you just go ahead and put your password in that will go through free of charge it's just a case of having to purchase it in that sense but you will not be charged level two however you will be charged for but of course this will come up on your phone as a cost level two which is what we're doing today here we go let's scroll down these are all of the topics in level two. As I mentioned previously, the questions within the app are based heavily around equine examinations. So BHS stages one and two, ride safe and MVQ one and two horse care in the UK. So let's start with tack and horse clothing, fitting and maintaining. So as you can see, this is the general layout of all of the questions, they're multiple choice, really good way to help um, you engage with the question and to figure out all the different variety of answers. So this question, which of the following is not a potential hazard when applying or removing rugs? We've got A, having the horse tied up to a piece of string attached to a ring on the wall. B, wearing flip flops or C, horse not tied up. So we can eliminate wearing flip flops because that is definitely an issue when you're around horses, no matter what the occasion. Having your horse tied up can be beneficial when doing a rug up. So let's go with A, and you just press submit. And we got that answer correct. So as you can see, it has gone green and we can move on to the next question. As you can see, I've gone ahead with a couple of the questions. We have now moved on to identify this item of tack. We have A, saddle cloth, B, numbler, or C, half pad. So I am going to go for B, numbner. As you can see, it can take a little while to proceed with the answer that you have selected, but you have to bear in mind that this is a new app. They're still in the stages of developing it. And this is only the beginning for them. So we'll await my answer. And it is correct. As you can see, it's been highlighted green again. That's how we know it's the correct answer. This is a numner. You can tell by the shape of the cut of it. It's superb about this app is that it has diagrams and photos to give you examples or to allow you to have something to reference to when answering the question. This question is, why is it important that any injuries notice quickly after exercise? We have A, so you can call the vet if needed before you finish for the day. B, because the quicker treatment is started, the better the outcome is likely to be. Any condition left untreated could get much worse. Or C, so you can get on with the rest of work and go home. I am going to eliminate C because your horse is a priority and the health should always come first in my opinion. I am going to go for B, I've selected B. I think the quicker you can eliminate any major issues, the better you could leave something and think oh it might be better tomorrow but condition could get worse and we will await the results and it is correct you can see it has been highlighted green 
I'm now going to show you the different ways as to how you can exit the topic if you want to go and do another one or come back to it later. Your progress will be logged so you'll know where you've finished at and it will show you percentage. So you can either press end quiz which is at the bottom, the grey button, or you can go to the three lines in the top right corner, press them back to level two or whichever level you want to get to as you can see it's super easy to navigate and we can go to our next topic which is riding safely on the road at first glance you can see a horse in front of the van and on the left side of the van the horse at the front does look very uncomfortable very stressed out i'm going to eliminate c instantly you should not be trotting up to a junction in my opinion you have a which is right at walk to junction could be that one but it could also be b I think you should always be prepared to bring your horse to a halt in any situation when you're out hacking. You do not know what you could come across, even if you're in the woods. You could be in the woods enjoying a nice quiet hack and have a dog run up to you. You just don't know what's out there, especially when you're on the roads. You have people speeding on motorcycles with cars. Just going to submit that. And even people on bicycles coming up close behind your horse as well. You have to always be on it when on the roads and that was correct. Something I am noticing with the app as I'm going along is that I would like to be able to click back perhaps a button to say previous question just so if I accidentally click on I can refer back to it and know my error. With each level be it level one or two you can scroll to the very bottom and there'll be a section saying test yourself. This is a brilliant section it gives you that test kind of vibes atmosphere you can put your head in the game and just get on with some questions and that is the app in question so i've taken you through the app i've showed you the different topics and the test yourself section would i recommend the answer is yes 100 percent Whilst the app is super easy to navigate, it is also really engaging. If you are going in for a BHS examination or MVQ or Ride Safe, etc., you can have a book in front of you, you can test yourself verbally, but nothing beats what the actual examination is like. If you can go in there and test yourself as much as you can, then you have more of a chance of success. I think it's also a great starter pack if you're a first time horse owner or maybe you're just new to the equine world and you want some little tips and tricks to help you along the way. I have thoroughly enjoyed reviewing the app in question and I'd recommend it to many. Whilst you do have to pay for level two, I think it covers everything you need to know and it really reassures you almost so that you know you're doing things correctly. A massive thank you to Digital Horse for allowing me to review the app in question. Bye everyone.